welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And we're very excited today. We're dee, dancing, dee, 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 dancing dee, dee. with the music. Because we are, we, we are doing a viewer request. We are doing a request. What are we doing? We're going to talk about MP3 players, specifically the difference between flash-based ones mm -hmm. and hard drive-based mm -hmm. ones. That is. Why would you want one? Why would you want the other? Well, I want to know. I do. All right, let's All find right. out. We'll uh, have a look at this message, and we'll be right back. This is a llama. It carries luggage. This is a burrito. It is lunch. This is Camtasia Studio 4. It makes screencasts. Now answer our trivia question. What screencasting tool is not woolly or made of beans? I'll be back at the end of the show with the answer. Well, you know what? Uh, pretty much every house on the planet now has got to have either an iPod or an MP3 player of some sort and a digital camera. Seems to be the two things that people own. So, which one do you buy? That's a good question. Which one do you buy? And what is this flash versus hard drive versus... What's the yes. distinction here? Yes, well, there's... With digital media, no matter whether you're talking about music or photographs or videos, mm -hmm. you have to have storage because they take up bits. Right. Um, so where you put your, pick your music it's, on? It's where you store the data. The right? data. So you. The data is the song. The data is the, the, data song, is the song or the video or the photograph or whatever. Right. Um, but it takes up space. So uh, just as it does on your hard drive on your computer, it does on one of these little devices. So the type of player you choose um, will part they be uh, determined by that. Right. So what are you going to be putting on it? How much are you going to How put much on space it? do you need on one of these players, right? Right. Right. Okay. Now, so and your choices are There's two main types of okay. technology that are used in MP3 players these days for storage. Mm -hmm. One of them is hard drive like, like your iPod, computer. Like in the computer but generally much smaller. Now so, that's a magnetic disk, right? Right. It's about this big. Well, no, actually the computer's about this big. Yeah. And so it depends on the uh, the size of the device. These ones right here, they're they're probably about the same size as the kind of hard drive you'd find in your notebook. A tiny oh, yeah, bit smaller, tiny perhaps. Right, yeah. There are a few of them, um, such as the first generation of the iPod Nano and uh, the Zen Photo that use tiny, tiny little micro drives inside there. So mm -hmm. uh, same size as Compact Flash, essentially. Right. But oh. it's a mechanical hard drive. So, so, so the actual hard drive itself is actually the size of a quarter. It right? was and very it, small. And it's magnetic, and it spins around, around, mm -hmm. around, around. And then it has a little head. It has a little head that actually goes onto the disc and mm -hmm. actually reads it, almost like an old record player. I mean, it, it kind of looks like a tiny little Barbie record, record player. It does. Look Doesn't a little it? bit like a Barbie record yeah. player, yes. That's true. Except much, much more expensive. Yes. Typically. That's right. And so there's many reasons why you'd want to go with one or the other. Well, wait a second. Oh, we talked about the hard drive version. What's, mm -hmm. a, so what's, what's the, the memory in the other one? The other one is flash memory. Uh -huh. That's a technology that, um, that was invented quite a number of years back, and it was used in digital cameras mostly at the beginning. Uh -huh. um, it is the, the one thing about memory on your computer, first of all, like actual memory. Um, like RAM. When you power down your computer, it goes away. Right. Flash memory doesn't do that. It has these little bits, and it flips these bits in a physical manner, so when you power down, it stays there. So oh. you don't actually have to keep a battery on it. You don't need to charge inside of these You don't need things. to keep the charge going. Right, okay. Um, it does help for your settings and things like that, but in general, flash memory itself will hold the settings and hold the data without So no, power. no moving parts at all? It's right. magnetic, still magnetic. No, it's actually not magnetic. It's not magnetic. It's not magnetic. It's a it's a phase change inside there. Mm -hmm. So it's an actual physical change inside. Physical there. change. Oh, um, chemical change. And we actually did this once before. We took a, a compact flash drive, threw it under a magnet, like a big bulk eraser, to see if it would last. On and call for help. On call for help. After and, I left. Right. After, so after to, you to left. improve the shows because I had left. Yes. Right. I understand that. So we threw it under the bulk eraser to see what would happen. And nothing happened. Nothing all, happened. All the data was still there. So it got like this, right? So this is like... Right. So that, that one uses flash memory. This is Creative's Zen V. Um, and it uses about two gigabytes of flash on this to store data. And this will show off photographs and it'll play back your music. So I can go, woo, 
Ooh, with a, you with can a put, magnet. You can put a magnet, you can throw it under a bulk eraser and, uh, and... And drop it. And you could drop it. And that's one of the other nice things about the difference between the two, and we'll get into that in a little okay. bit. Okay, so where do you want to go next? Well, we want to talk about one versus the other. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about flash memory first, since you have that in your hands. So, okay. one of the things about flash memory, it's what they call solid state memory. So, one of the things you can do is you can drop it. Like this? You can drop it, and it, you probably don't want to drop it from too high, but... But you can do that, and in general, it will last. Now, that one's not going to turn on because it wasn't charged up, but... I can guarantee you when we charge that back up again, it'll work. That's because it has no moving parts in there. Right, and it's waterproof. It is, that one is a little bit waterproof, but not that waterproof. Ooh. Mm. Well, I hope you enjoy that, because that's yours now. Anyway, I hope that hasn't been anywhere pooey. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, so yes, flash-based media is okay. more rugged. One of the problems, if you're a sports fanatic mm -hmm. and you like to run around a lot or you're involved in anything where you're sort of moving back and forth a lot, is putting on... Uh, an Do that again. <laughs> or if you go to a disco dance party. Oh, or if you go to a disco <laughs> and right. you have your own music for whatever reason, yeah. if it does happen to go flying like that, ugh. <laughs> if it happens to go flying off you because you... you jerk too hard while you were running down the street. Yeah. It hits the pavement. Yeah. If it is not ruggedized media, that's gone. It's, it's gone, right? It's pretty much gone. Right. So when you have a hard drive, as you said, it looks like a little turntable. Wait a second. So flash, you, well, they want that for flash, but right. you know, in the case of a hard drive, in the case you, of you hard don't want drive, You don't want to do that Why? at all because, as you were saying, the, the, it's like a little turntable with a little arm that goes over the media. Yeah. Any bit of jarring while it's doing that, and you're going to damage the surface of the disc. Uh -huh. So you drop it while it's going, and you can say goodbye to that sector of the disc, if not the whole So you drive. want to like, hold it up here? No, I'm not going <laughs> to let you do that. Okay. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. Yes. Are you active? Go flash. If you're active, go flash. Okay. Yeah, let's not take that out of context. <laughs> um, so, all right. The other nice thing about flash versus hard drives mm -hmm. is the size. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got a nice little example of technology. Ooh, this one isn't this? quite so ruggedized as the Zen V, mm. but um, this is iPod's newest shuffle. And this is one gigabyte mm. of data. Wow. And Look, it's small. It's, it is. It's very small. Well, we're showing it oh, over there. Don't okay. We? So sorry, dude. It's it's a little bit. Uh, it's a get? lot. Can you get? It? <laughs> there you go. See. They say never work with animals or children. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right. So it's it's really tiny. Yes. So you can do that because it's flash. Flash memory is very compact. When you have uh, a hard drive, like this one, uh, that one was flash as well, but when you have a hard drive, as in this one, you have to have all the mechanisms in place that will read and play back. So you're, you're looking at something that's about this big, at the very least, in order to, to accommodate all of that. Okay. So bigger form factor so for fatter. hard drives. Fatter. It's fatter. Right. So look. It's look. a lot bigger. Look. Well, actually, it's about the same. Well, a little bit less. Maybe this is probably better. Look at that. Look at the difference there. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's not necessarily a fair comparison because uh, of the actual capacity of the drives inside these. Again, that one was one gigabyte. And this one right here is 80 gigabytes. All and right. that's one of the reasons you might, you might want ah. to actually go over to a hard drive yeah, yeah. is because you can fit more onto it. Yes. Flash memory is actually fairly expensive per megabyte. It is, right. It is. So, so on, on, a, on a gigabyte, that's 1,024 megs. Mm -hmm. That's 1,024 minutes of audio, more or less. Yeah, you know, they're, saying, they're saying about uh, 250 songs, I believe, for, well, for something that size. So, and it depends on the length of your song, whether you're talking pop songs or Emerson, Lake and Palmer style prog epics. Um, so, and Gary's laughing because I think he has a few of those on his MP3 right. player. Uh, so Stairway to Heaven is like, what, nine and a half minutes? Right, so that would count as two songs, two songs on the right. usual scale. Right. Okay. So, when you, when you get into something that has a hard drive inside it, you can fit a lot more data onto... So 80 gigs this. would be 80 times 1,000, 80,000... Th Tens of thousands of songs. Tens here. of thousands of songs. Right. All of your ABBA collection, all of it, every single one, including the extended mixes. Plus some stuff. Sorry. I just, just wanted to make it, point it out. There's lots of ABBA fans out there. Right. There are. So if you're looking for a... Dancing um, queen... 
feel the beat of the tambourine. I'm gonna take a drink break. <laughs> you just keep going. All right, dancing queen, feel the music on the tambourine. Yeah, yeah. All right, come on, let's keep going. Are you done? I'm done. Okay. You. Sorry. <laughs> Are you done? Yes. All right. <laughs> The size of your hard disk actually takes you to the next reason why you'd prefer maybe a hard drive over a little portable player here, mm -hmm. and that's video. Uh, now, yes. if you're watching us on a portable player right now, chances are you're doing it on a hard drive-based player, or you don't have a lot of other data on if, your player. If right they now. were watching us on their mobile player, we wouldn't look very big. We'd look really small. We'd look very small. Yeah. Um, so one of the nice things about this, 80 gigabytes will hold an awful lot of video. And well, with the iPod version of our files, we're typically about 150 to 200 megs, if not a little bit more, mm -hmm. depending on how much he yammers on about how much Vista's really cool and, and how yeah. Abba's great and how the Mac sucks and, mm -hmm. and all of that. <laughs> that extends an episode from 80 megs to 150 megs. It does. All right. So, so if you're doing video, then you want a hard drive-based player. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that also too allows you. You know, it, not only do you have more space, but in, there are bigger form factors, which so means that you have a bigger screen. As you can tell, these guys don't have a, any screens on them yet. No. These guys do. That one does. Um, but they are not necessarily the best for video. Not ideal for video. Um, so we're talking on these ones. Uh, the two gigs on this. That's not yeah. going to hold very many videos. Right. I think we can maybe fit. Um, a couple of episodes of Lab Rats after you've converted it to the screen size for right. this. So okay. it's not great, but you know it is getting better. So I'm going to uh, flip over to a video here. Oops, that's not a video. Back out of that. That's kind of a pretty screen. This is, for, this is. is the uh, SanDisk this, Sans. This is the SanDisk Sans. This is brand new, right? Is this it? is, is f reasonably new. Mm -hmm. And um, so you can play the videos on these uh, as well. This is one of our older episodes. Um, but you can't fit a ton of this. This has got eight gigabytes on it, so it's not a lot. If you're a, a real video fan, you're gonna get maybe a few episodes onto this, but maybe not, and that's at the expense of music. Right, well, that makes sense, okay, all right. One of the nice things about this one right here that I'm gonna point out. Oh, that was memory. That was, in fact, two gigabytes of memory that just flipped out like a fingernail. Wow, look at that, look at that, Gary. Yeah, we so so that just flips in and out of the side of these players right. in some cases. That's how small flat. Don't eat the flash memory. <laughs> wow. So not only so this this is a flash player. It is a flash based player, and it has fl extra flash extra memory. Extra flash memory. Oh, that's very clever. But I mean that that exp uh, that shows just how cheap flash memory is getting. It's not as cheap per megabyte as the hard drive can be. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But it is getting fairly cheap. Very good. All right. All right, and uh, I think uh, that's pretty much it. That's, that's all that's there is a, to uh, to say about you know flash plays music players or or mobile players yeah. versus yeah. magnetic disc. Yeah. So the executive summary basically is if you want if you want small, if you want r more rugged, mm -hmm. then you go for flash. And waterproof. <sighs> all right. Yep. Yeah, and. Yeah. If, if, you, if you want more data, more data, a, a lot of space on it, mm -hmm. and if you want something that has enough to play video, yes, then you go with then you go with the bigger guys. Yeah, and that that becomes much much cheaper per per megabyte. But heavier. This it's heavier and it's more right. expensive to to begin with, but you can fit a lot of data on there. Very cool. All right. Well, let's take a peek at another message from one of our sponsors, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Earlier in the show, we asked you what screencasting product is not woolly or made of beans. Is it A, a llama, B, a burrito, or C, Camtasia Studio 4? The answer is Camtasia Studio 4. Learn more at labrats.techsmith.com. Um, I think there was something nasty on that uh, MP3 player. You're the one to put it in your mouth. <laughs> Not doing that again. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so uh, that is MP3 player's uh, flash versus uh, magnetic hard drive thingies inside. 
Yes. Okay, good. Now, this was inspired. This episode was inspired by um, a viewer. It was a viewer like you, who wrote in and said, "Guys, I want to know the difference between the different MP3 players." And his name is Jesse. Jesse. Jesse wanted to know. Wanted to see this. And it looks uh, he, like he's got um, an iPod, a video iPod. Woohoo! So he already knows he about already the knows uh, exactly magnetic. But where's Jesse from? That's a good question. We don't know. Okay. Well, thanks, Jesse. We appreciate uh, you uh, running in and telling us what you want to see. If you have uh, an episode idea, send us an email. Feedback at labrats.tv. He knows it. Um, and, of course, if you want to be like Jesse and you want to send in your photograph, then please send it in. Again, on that email, email address. When you attach it, make sure it's not bigger than a meg. Please? Make sure it's not bigger than 100K. There you go. See? Uh, one final word. I do want to tell you and remind you about Little Geeks at uh, littlegeeks.org. It's um, a charity that I created to give underprivileged children uh, uh, internet-connected computers. I woke up one day and I said I have to change the world. So I decided to create this organization. And we've been uh, working on delivering computers uh, to children here in Toronto. And we're looking at expanding outside of the greater Toronto area uh, into other cities in the US and Canada in the coming months. Uh, we're also looking for some help in terms of uh, money. It, it's not cheap to start a charity, as it turns out. So no. if you want to uh, go to uh, littlegeeks.org and click on the Donate button, uh, and uh, send us a couple of bucks. That would be fabulous. That'll help us uh, get this project off and running. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks. See? There you go. See, now we, we have three dollars. The Canadian dollar, so. And one cent. Well, that's not bad, I guess. I'll take it. <laughs> that's it for us. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And we will see you next time. Are you ready? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> You're not it's getting an, your way? <laughs> it's an it's imitation of my niece. She doesn't get her way. <laughs> She's six months old. She takes after me, Uncle Andy. Let's see if that works. All right, you ready? No. <laughs> hmm? Validate me! Validate me! <laughs> not you.